I'm Jacob Stockdale and welcome to episode 3 of Fueled by Passion, the mini-series brought to you by Maxall, the champions people's passion for their cars. In this episode, it's all about electric vehicles. I'm going to be meeting Mark McGillian from Tri-X EV and he's going to be teaching me a bit more about what electric vehicles are all about. Mark, first thing is what exactly is it that you do? I work for a company that specialises in the rollout of chargers, home chargers, electric vehicle chargers for members of the public. So Jacob, first time in an EV, what do you think? Uh, I really, really enjoyed it. It was something new for me. A bit weird getting used to it, you know, no gears. You don't even know if it's on or not because it's so quiet. But um, I suppose I have a few questions about it really. First of all, I suppose, like, what are the main differences between an electric vehicle and like a petrol or a diesel powered yeah, car. Yeah. The electric vehicle, battery powered, plug in, charge the battery and use the vehicle. Second difference, not a lot of people may realise, is that an electric vehicle is actually a heavier vehicle. Battery adds a lot of weight to an electric vehicle um, that obviously isn't in a combustion engine vehicle. Then you have the, the old myth that an electric vehicle the range isn't as good as a combustion engine vehicle. As times went on, that's no longer the truth. Some electric vehicles can provide more range than the standard combustion engine. And then you're on to the maintenance of both vehicles. There's a lot more maintenance in the normal combustion engine vehicle. You've oils, lubes, brakes, you know. But with an electric vehicle, it's a lot, lot easier. You've got brakes and brake pads, you've coolant, oil fluid and you know window washer fluid and that's about as much as you're as you're changing you know so obviously things seem to be going in the right direction for EV um, what do you think that the future holds for it the future is bright for EV um, the manufacturers have really got on board they're bringing out new cars new designs there's a lot more options for the consumer moving to electric vehicles combined with the fact that there's a lot more infrastructure rollouts across the country is allowing customers to move to EV, choose a car they want that suits their needs and charge it when they're at home or, or out at the workplace. So I think in all in all, the future is definitely bright for uh, electric vehicles and, and their consumers. So there goes the change in ship motoring. Thanks very much to Mark for a bit of insight and knowledge into the world of EVs. Keep an eye out for the next episode where I'll be talking to Irish rally driver Joseph McGonagall and we'll be talking all things motorsport.